So Gregory, you, you came out here, and the first thing I noticed was it's, uh, it's a lot of microphones for one person. I know. Are you, is the rest of the show, are you going to be like bouncing around? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I think I was going to start uh, stage right. And That's cool. Kind of Speaking of microphones, though, you, you, you have two microphones when I see you perform. You've got like the straight mic, and then what, what's the other this one? Is, um, well, this is just a crappy bullet mic, and um, I have resoldered it a few times on this tour. <laughs> Maybe we should do the interview on that. It'd be like old-time radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing you a, a couple of years ago uh, at the, the Woods, a really cool oh, yeah, Portland that. venue that has since, uh, since disappeared. But, yeah. um, but when you were there, you were talking about a, a new album, and you were getting some new songs together. And then it took a couple of years to get that out. What was the process like of this recording, The Weatherman? Yeah, we, we just put out a new record called The Weatherman, and... Um, I made a, a whole nother record before that, actually. And then we were on tour in Europe and we rented a little studio in, in Holland. And um, I was writing a lot kind of on the road. And so we, there's sort of these weird moments in, in, uh, when you're writing, and I'm sure other songwriters kind of relate to this, um, where you know, if, you don't, if you don't catch the new ones, you're gonna lose them. So we just kind of shelved the stuff that we'd been working on and kind of finished the, the new stuff. Um, one of my favorite songs of yours uh, is uh, Big Black Car. Thank you. And uh, when I listen to that song on the record, it has a lot different uh, feel than when you play it live. It's, it's kind of sped up more energy oh, right, live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is, were you unhappy with the way that it came out on the record, or does it just kind of take a different form when you, when you start playing it? I think, um, you know, we actually play the record version as well. We kind of switch it up. Uh, we switch it up a lot with, uh, with the show. I think, you know, when we're, we're thinking about recordings, um, I always think about like one person listening to it, you know, in their car, or an 86 Toyota pickup. Um, <laughs> it's pretty specific. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much how I've mixed every record in my car. And um, if you have one of those, it'll sound really good. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, at a show, um, you can kind of um, get away with different things, you know. And so we, we like to change it up a lot as much as we can, you know. So you seem, uh, and I might be misreading this, but you seem like a pretty soft-spoken guy, and maybe even shy a little bit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so when when you first started like uh, performing, was it easier to do the songwriting where you're more by yourself and feeling out a song, and and then was it difficult to get in front of people? You know, I don't know. We've we've played so many shows now in the last ten years, and I don't think that that whole like feeling of uh, uh, of um, that fragile feeling um, and ever went away, or that kind of uh, nervous vibe. But I don't, I'm not really afraid of it now, I guess. Is it, um, it, but it never went away. I thought it would, I thought it would get better, get easier, but, but I think, um, I mean, that's a good thing, I think, for me. So your, your new album's called The Weatherman. Is there, is there some meaning behind that? Well, um, yeah, I was working on a short story, uh, a couple of like, short poems, and um, there was this character in the, in the story of, of uh, this kind of crazy woman that lives by herself in this trailer. And, um, and the TV's always on, and there's this weatherman kind of, and that's the other character in the story, and, but he's um, kind of this, this kind of like mystical character that tells the future. And, um, so he became the other character in the story, and then a lot of the songs kind of came out of that. Um, I mean, I write a lot of prose, but maybe a few things will make it into a song, you know, a line here and there. Um, but a lot of a lot of lines came came from those stories. Great. Well, let's hear some more music from okay. the weatherman. He's playing at the Doug Fur tonight and tomorrow. Give it up again for Gregory Allen Isakoff. <laughs> 